In 2003, shoppers were told they would need to start paying for their plastic packets. Many expressed unhappiness and started carrying their own bags. That was the whole idea, so that people don't mess around with plastics, don't throw it away, reuse it. And you actually had people who started using it to knit bags with it. So it was a very good idea originally. I think they became weary for a while. Usage declined, which led to panic in the manufacturing industry. Before 2003, 8 billion bags on average were being used a year. When the, you know, the consumption levels for bags dropped significantly by about 60-70% or so, three months after the policy came about, that the retailers and manufacturers kind of, uh, uh, they panicked, they voluntarily all cut prices. The packets became cheaper and consumers went back to using them. 14 years ago, a plastic packet cost around 5 cents. Today, they cost 50 cents each, 8 cents of which goes to the government. The money was meant to be ring-fenced for the recycling industry and to create jobs in the green economy. But there's been little detail in this regard. It's supposed to be used to support innovation uh, around manufacturing of the bags themselves so that uh, alternative materials can be considered uh, in making these bags so that they can easily be, uh, be recycled. You don't see any evidence of this money, this you know, revenue that's generated through this levy being used for those purposes. And I think that's where the, the legislation has, um, has failed. Retailers offer reusable alternatives, but they are a lot more expensive than plastic bags and not popular amongst consumers. Consumers now use plastics every day. They don't care what they do with it. They don't keep it and reuse it, which would have been a good thing. And I think they don't realize the cost to them. The plastic bag legislation is now being seen as a money spinner for government and retailers. More than $100 million was collected between 2003 and 2014 and went into state coffers. In the same period, retailers coined almost $400 million. The whole point of the legislation was to discourage consumers from using plastic packets and to encourage more eco-friendly behavior. 14 years later, little has changed. You can still see packets flying around in the streets and consumers are willingly paying more for them. Sumitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.